Good morning, guys. All right. Kind of excited about today. We finally got 12 brothers. 12 brothers means we can do whatever the hell we want. Wander around. Kill everything. Maybe. Fight some orc camps. Reroll some brothers. Get our ambitions taken care of. Pretty excited. Wolf riders, right? We can go deal with wolf riders. That's no big deal. How does Solly always sneak to the sides? Jokes on you, Wolf Riders. Good morning, Mendoza. Oops, attacked the wrong one. Wamba. Guys, this is my last stream for like three or four days. I'm not going to be streaming Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I think. And then I don't stream Tuesdays anyways. It's my last stream for like six days. I got to remember to repeat that a couple times today. To remind people of the upcoming filthy shortage. Morning preference. Yeah, it's a good time to point that out. I should point it out when there's more viewers in channel, but a good time to point it out that all of this stuff will be uploaded to the VOD channel, so all the full playthroughs will be making it up to YouTube. And it should be available for everyone's viewing pleasure, which in whatever format they like. Meanwhile, Goblin Death Rattles. Okay. We love salt. I don't have salt yet. I'll get there. I almost always get there. Don't worry about it. We'll just wait for the questions. <laughs> Good morning, Bagabuga. Why don't you pre-record some runs for us during the night so you could air them during the weekend? I haven't messed around with that feature yet. I just assumed it wouldn't do very well on my channel. Feels like you need very, very high concurrent viewer counts to generate enough interest in your offline stuff. Maybe that would be better than just the VOD, I don't know, than the YouTube VOD. My travel schedule is so fucking insanely busy coming up shortly. We'll see. We'll see. I hope I have the wherewithal to manage to do the stuff I care about still. Alright, another level on our Mega. Dude, 31 melee defense. Please. What kind of elite mega are you? I mean, granted, the rest of these stats are fucking great, but... Okay. Where am I going to? I'm going to Denver, Colorado for the next couple days. Then I'm back for a few days. Then I head to Salt Lake City, Utah for the gaming con. And then I'm back for a couple days. And then I head up to Door County, Wisconsin for camping. Caloric Nimble Axe is no longer fat. <sighs> Normally we like that debuff to go away, but Caloric Nimble Axe now just dropped 10 HP. And with uh, 
Yeah. And with uh, Colossus, he dropped, I guess, 12 HP. Camping like with a tent? Yeah. Camping like in a tent where you got to hike it all in. It's about a mile and a bit hike. Hike it all in. Uh, hike it all out. Zero trace stuff on uh, Lake Michigan. Should be really nice. I've really enjoyed it. I've been a couple times to that location before. We go up with my wife's parents. Uh, we try to make it once a year, but it hasn't always been once a year. It seems to be about once every... It probably seems to be two out of every three years. Oh, look at this hellish landscape of swamps and mountains. So one of the trips is for work, two of the trips are not for work. It's called the Netherlands. This is not the Goblin City, actually. This is a Goblin Outpost. It's a very high chance of famed item. Not this, this is just a Wolf Rider pack. Uh, we should consider whether or not we wish to start taking some of these Goblin camps. I've only gone Adrenaline about half the people, but I haven't, and I haven't had a lot of experience fighting... Um, Fighting goblins without archers, because every time I've ever done it in the past, I've hated it and wanted a refund of my life. So, I don't know yet. I don't know what this fucking terrain is, but this terrain is not real terrain. This terrain is garbage terrain. Ah, uh, missing 81s, sure. That is something you are allowed to do. Do I need insurance for life refunds? I can't even parse that. What's a life refund? There's life insurance, but I don't know what a life refund is. The boundary water areas of Minnesota. Well, that sounds pretty nice. I feel like adrenaline is an all, in, all or nothing skill. It does feel a little bit like that too. Do you believe Lone Wolf in the 12-man roster is a huge late game handicap? Yes. It'd be worse if I could field nine to eleven. Depends how they scale it. The militia gets lets you scale, uh, lets you bring sixteen or whatever the fuck it is, but it doesn't. But it scales slightly harder. So you're not really fielding fifty percent more or whatever the hell it is. Twelve to sixteen, I guess it's a you know quarter of that, a third of that. So I guess it's not thirty-three percent more. It's something less, but. Can't see that one. It's a little bad. Double misses feels real bad. game wolf riders i like early game wolf riders too wolf riders are a great source of experience it's like take your vitamins and your wolf riders and you'll grow up to be a strong boy solly missing fucking free free double kills oh solly you should have right the right time see your brother miss a double kill But I consider the Goblin Riders the easiest to deal with type of Goblin. Alone, yes. They're actually a pain in the large cities. But when they're by themselves like this, absolutely. <laughs> Fucking archers, man. 
try and you try with archers. Give them every chance to excel. Give them every benefit in life. And they take no advantage of it. I don't think they're done yet. I think they've got one more round in them. What shirt is Filthy wearing? No, they don't have one more round in them, apparently. Seriously? Half of them? There's a 13-man pack. Six of them are cowards. I am wearing an F2K promotional sweatshirt. The black t-shirt underneath it that I will not show on stream because it's not a white t-shirt. Yes, you do look pretty good when your eyes light up. I think we should take these fights. The question is, can we? We will be rooted. It will be cancerous. We may lose our back rankers who have not been assigned Nimble or Battleforged yet. Under underneath, I'm wearing nipple tassels. Uh, yes, but we don't. We can't mention it. Contractually, can't mention it on stream. Dude, these, these things are 30 and 49% chance of... Of loot. We can't pass these up. It's too high fame chance. <sighs> How much adrenaline do we have? I can't take adrenaline on this guy with cleaver spec. Because I will eventually pick up a one-handed cleaver that doesn't suck ass. And then I will want to use that instead. Nimble doesn't actually do that well versus Gobbos. This could be a good proof of concept kind of play. How good. I gotta assign some perk points over here though. Yeah, six hawk. I agree. The legendary mod was a good incentive to actually fight goblins. Hmm. Hmm. All right, what are we doing with these brothers? Megris and Shawl. Gabo is Scottish slang for a blowjob. That explains all the noises they make. <laughs> Although to be f anyways, learning every day. It's a learning. It's an educational stream for sure, for sure. All right. Uh, what are we doing with these brothers? Fifty HP is an amazing amount of HP. It's the absolute best amount of HP you could ever have on a brother. One seventeen ninety eight. This is gonna be nimble on ninety eight at seven. I think one seventeen we can force uh, battle forged, and I need more battle forged. So oh, he's already brawny. So we've already committed to battle forged. So I already knew we were doing battle forged. I just didn't tell myself in the future. Okay. Future, future filthy. Remember. Okay, he's got another perk point. Is it time for Indom? Almost certainly. Okay. All right, and then there's Magris. Who he, I mean, he's gotta be, right? There's no way, he's 20, 20 behind that guy at one level. There's no way he makes back, he's gotta be nimble. Why do I have sword next to him? He's not gonna be a sword, bro. Why is that even written there? Who wrote this here? I'm gonna ask my wife if she's logging into my characters when I'm not playing and writing strange notations next to it. But she is. 
Probably meant sellsword, not sword. Don't you put weird words into my mouth. All right, so this is all nimbly bimbly, which, uh, but this is 67 HP. You can't nimbly bimbly on 67 HP. I mean, you can. Dear, this is these are the worst fucking brothers, man. I guess I don't know how to roll cell swords because they never seem to have enough secondary stats for me, ever. Okay. All right, well, success. We're going to get eaten alive in this fight. Prepare your nom noms. What do we even take in this? Do I want pikes? One handed swords? Good question. The attack is okay. These are the worst fucking brothers. How do I have? How does the elite playthrough end up with brothers that I actually don't want to have on my team? What kind of elite? What part of elite also is synonymous with terrible? It's not a matter of being picky. We have limitations on the classes we're allowed to recruit. Uh, all right, we have another 280 helm. Sully's already in 278, it's way lighter. This guy's in 300. I guess I could stick it over here. He does have Battle Forged. Three stam, I think, is worth that. All right. I'm officially concerned. Do you want to take it at night? That would make some sense. There's like no skirmishers in this one. This one has or no um, ambushers. Only four ambushers in this one. Maybe come back for that one. I don't want to backtrack too much, but we are nearly the southwest corner of the map. I kind of want to head east after this. I'm expecting this to be orc territory. All right, let's take the easier looking one first. Okay. So we are first fight fighting goblins in a very long time where I don't bring enough archers for it. Yeah, this looks joyous. I'm filled with joy in this fight. Anyone else filled with joy? They've identified the primary target, the one we lose the game if he dies, and are now shooting him. So that is joyful. When will season 11 be posted on YouTube? Which one is season 11? Is this 12 or... Hold on a minute, I gotta figure out which season is which. This is season 12. Season 11 has already started being released to YouTube. You just have to check the appropriate YouTube channel. You're probably not checking the VOD channel. We have a new VOD channel. I release videos about it on my primary channel, as well as uh, mentioning it repeatedly on uh, this. Oh, there's Wolf Riders too. Nice shooting, Sister Nobu. The target is dead. Everyone may return to their homes. Who 
Who's adrenaline? That's all he does. Let's get him freed. Homie chop. Does not have adrenaline. Can actually get Fire Lord on top of that guy if we want. I'm not sure we do want, but we could. Drunk Danish has adrenaline. So that's a wait. Also a wait. Also a wait. Let these fucking wolf riders deploy. Oh, we should have brought the one-handed axe. But, uh... A renewal. Welcome back. I love renewals. Yo. Welcome back, Nate Jolly. Yo to you as well. Thank you for the resub. Stutters had hit a goddamn thing, but okay. Alright. Didn't kill it. Questionable. Missed. I mean, these are options we can take. These are things that we are legally allowed to make as moves. What would be the equivalent? A, ga a normal gaming equivalent. You can flashbang your team. Key insect swarm. This thing is like straight up cheating. Alright, we have to deal with the incoming over here. Not that my archers want to hit anything. This is very low HP. 54 armor remaining. You are now entirely useless until the goblins want to let you do something. Although he did manage to free somebody and kill somebody on 45, so that's fairly good. Nice shooting. Elite archers. I, th I think archers are worse in small numbers. This has been very demonstrative of that for me. Stutters with two more misses. Team. Team. Please, team. Another miss. Well, at least that was a fucking hit. Could either engage the wolf rider or help with this stuff. I don't like him being battleforged and then moving in here. Even with 76 HP, we don't have any protection from puncture. And if he gets isolated and insect swarmed near like four of them being punctured, it's GG. You want to go first here again? In there. Probably want to indom here. I don't think you're helping very much there, Shaw. All right. Oh, we're actually gonna kill something this time. It's exciting. Get that duelist a real mace. Like a fan. 
game face? Like a mace that is famed? I was, I was trying to make a point, but I can't open my fucking inventory. Some sort of mace with like increased stats or something? Alright, uh... Dude, can we fucking hit something? Just every once in a while? It's exciting. It's a new, new turning over a new leaf here. Also exciting. It's killed two things. Oh, I can't swing by moving there, so that move was totally bad. Sure. Got it. You are being insect swarmed. Sully has a second attack, but no stam for it. Awkward. Drunk Danish is still getting picked on a little bit. Is he also now insect swarmed? He's not. End of the turn net to make us super vulnerable next turn. Hooray! God, you know what's great? Having a HP multiplier when you don't have any fucking HP. Sally has a wound now. Did he get punctured? Yep, sure did. Mace hits goblins pretty hard, seems to one-shot them. Yes, the goblin screams intensify. Kalark would love not to die. I guess that's better than... Can't move. Move. Can't move. Chooses to move. Just cleared his fucking. I probably can kill him. 
You can also let him run. There's a pretty good chance he does some puncture damage. I'm not sure yet what we want to do about that. Five to hit, sure. No punctures, just slashes. Slashes are fine. Five, miss again. Don't let him rally. Another 95 miss. Maybe I'm reading the number backwards. <laughs> we get two swings here. 10 each, 20 is 86, we do not. Good. All right. What is a famed item? Three twelve for twenty five is pretty nice weight ratio, too. And it's called the Trusty Cell Swords Hide. I don't know if we have Trusty Cell Swords on our team, but it does feel like something that's quite useful for us. Cool. Yeah. Took two wounds for this. Shawl almost died. Got hit once. Chest shot, too. Not even a body shot. Not even a head shot. All right, so this is an improvement over Solly's gear, right? 300, where'd it go? 25, yeah, it's quite a bit of an improvement. That's a really nice power to weight ratio. Uh, you're forgiven, ball dropper? It wasn't a particularly annoying comment. It was just kind of amusing. You're like, we should definitely get him some good gear, good mace, and he's got a good mace. I'm like, oh, okay, good mace, good mace. It's weird how mannerisms rub off. That was obvious. I do Jorbs and Dolphins sometimes, too. Eat radishes. Some mannerisms are better off not rubbing off. Where did that 300 plate just go? There. All right, our nimble armor took some pretty big hits over overall here. Okay. I do want to clear that camp. Probably want to wait till night, maybe on the way back to they're just very good sources of famed items at goblin camps. A warlord camp in the mud with an 80% chance of fucking. It's so high. Are we waiting for Sully's wound? I don't know if we have to wait for the wound so much as we need to wait for the. Uh, 
the HP back. So we actually got a little bit of time on a couple people here. Probably going to be a full day before we can realistically engage that. Okay. Number 80% is zero for me. Yeah. Let's see what's over here, though. Oh, would you like to fight 10 Alps? No? I mean, nighttime when we know it's there is fine. It's just I have zero desire to fight 10 Alps right now. We have plenty of parched skin. I mean, it does get us black paint. We do need black paint for this. If we would ever willingly use Petrified Scream for fucking black paint. Well, let's take a look down this way. Orc Hunters. I will fight that if we have to. I'm not super excited by that fight. Another small orc camp. We've been looking for orcs. I was watching the RV the other day. He's like... He's like, I've searched the entire map and there's no no orc warlord camps. And there was like 30% of the map was covered by fog. I'm like, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. If 10 Alps in the last playthrough would have been phenomenal. But we don't need them in this playthrough, so it's a little hard to care. All right, we have a male patch. Uh, we need to kill dire wolves. Don't let me forget that, chat. That needs to happen. It's dire wolves have our uh, have our anti chosen armor attachments ready to go on them. I think we'll go fight the other goblin city nighttime in like the next day. Well, I don't know what the percentage was. I'm not doing it for that. I'm doing it for our work ambition. So we need to cycle ambitions very badly. We don't have any of the other. We don't have second cart ambition, which is a big one for us. And we don't have um, we don't have uh, goblin trinket, which is a kraken related thing. And we don't have uh, undead trophy, which is a uh, nice thing for monolith. Uh, nice thing for just a lot of stuff in general, honestly. It's a lot of fucking works. One thing I don't want them having is the high ground. Be lazy about it. It is berserkers. Being lazy about berserkers can sometimes result in issues. Having archers who never fucking hit anything ever can sometimes result in issues too. There's an orc hiding in that bush. Unsure how excited I am by that news. A lot of two-handers coming in here. I think we want to push into this area and kill that one. But I don't think we want to go to that tile. See if we have to adrenaline there. Need to adrenaline. We can disarm him. Disarming may be better. Ah! 
That guy can get a swing there. Which we don't want. Let me just block his own guy, that's fine. Oh, those should have been throwing axes, not dagger or uh, daggers, not bow shots. He gets to swing, yeah. the other pike there. It's just becomes bow time. You want to lose the shield? Kind of adrenaline and walk in there and attack, I think. I don't think I need to though when he's disarmed. Okay. Seems good. 